Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and i got some first impressions to do for you. Uh, this is an exciting one. Um, I'm always especially excited when I'm checking out a prototype. I just selfishly get a big kick out of the idea that I get to sometimes see knives a little bit early. Um, sue me, <laughs> I think it's awesome. So this is the new, or upcoming I should say, Arcane Designs Abyss. And it is, uh, I think, the fourth model, technically, under the Arcane Designs um, umbrella, if you will. So Israel is the guy behind Arcane. It's a really cool dude. I've met him a couple of times now. Got to hang out with him quite a bit at Blade Show West and uh, spent some time at his booth. Spent uh, Friday evening getting dinner with him and his buddy who was helping to run the booth and Elijah Isham, which was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, just chatted a lot with Israel over the weekend. And uh, I had met him first, actually almost an entire year ago at the California Custom Knife Show. And at that point, he just had prototypes of his first knife, the Necronaut. And I thought it was sweet. I never ended up grabbing one personally, um, but I don't really have a reason for not having owned one of his knives yet. I like the guy. I think the knives are cool, they're different, they're well made. Um, his first one, the Necronaut, was done through Best Tech, and then he also did the Crawler through Best Tech, but he did the Antimatter, I think is what it's called. It's a double-edged dagger that he collaborated with Felix from Something Obscene Company and did through Riat. And now this knife is all him, this isn't a collaboration. And the Abyss, this model, is also made by Riat. Um, I certainly prefer Riat to Best Tech, um, at least at the moment. That's it. I mean, I picked <laughs> Riat for production on my upcoming knife, so obviously maybe I'm a little bit biased there, but I think Riat does a phenomenal job. And this being a prototype, they really executed it well. Um, so I'm going to go over real quick what the knife is made of, and then I've got a whole list of changes to go over. I'll probably reiterate these things in the full review, because right now these knives are available for pre-order. Um, you can get one of these or pre-order one at the moment, and so I think it's important that people understand that there are some changes with this being a prototype. This isn't going to be exactly what is going to be offered in the uh, final production iteration of the knife. So. Let's talk materials real quick. Um, blade steel on this guy, M390, and then handle material is titanium, pocket clip is titanium, hardware is titanium, backspacer is titanium, and then we do have a lock bar insert with hardened steel and a ceramic uh, detent ball, and it runs on ceramic bearings. So, pretty run of the mill react frame lock build in terms of material selection. Um, now, things that are going to change, and I had Israel send me this in a list because I knew I wasn't gonna remember them all and I'm really glad I did. So number one, the very back corner of the knife, I'm assuming that means back here, um, is gonna be more rounded so that it's not sharp in any grip. I assume what he's specifically referring to there is actually gotta be this, because that's already pretty round. But this spot, so that if you're choked a little bit back, you're not gonna be running into that. It is a little bit pointy on this. Uh, number two, the overall clip shape is gonna be rounded for a less acute look. Um, and it's also gonna be pushed back a little further on the knife for a slightly deeper carry position. Um, so it'll carry a little deeper in the pocket. Uh, the jimping is going to be less sharp. It's the first thing that I said when I handled one of these prototypes was, uh, if I could give you some advice personally, I know jimping is part of this design. I'm not going to tell them to omit it completely, um, although I generally don't like jimping. But this jimping on the proto is really sharp and aggressive, um, unnecessarily sharp. So it's going to be less sharp and more comfortable. Uh, change number four, the handle is going to get one millimeter thicker overall. So half a millimeter on each side, uh, just so that it fills the hand a little bit more. Uh, should improve ergos in Israel's mind, and I don't have a problem with that. I don't. Uh, I tend to like thin knives, so I don't know that I would personally ask for it to get thicker, but I do think it filling the hand a little more could be a good thing for a lot of people. Um, and then the action is going to be dialed in a little bit. I assume what he means by that is the detent is going to be slightly revised um, 
and it's going to make it so that it'll be easier to middle finger flick with the fuller. You can see there's kind of a, I don't know, a window there, a fuller machined out slot where you can, oh, if you get it right, not for a camera like a chump, you can <laughs> middle finger flick it. Um, I just used a bunch of wrist, I am aware. It, it's doable in the current setup for me, but it's not as easy as some knives are to middle finger flick. So I like that that's going to get revised a little bit. Um, and yeah, so it also has the flipper tab and he's keeping that in consideration that the flipper tab still needs to be dialed because right now it's really well dialed for the flipper tab. Um, last things, that was five. So six, um, all of the hardware is going to be black. On this, it is not. It's kind of a, a bronzish tone on this guy. So it's going to be all blacked out. And last thing is on the backspacer right now, you've got Arcane Design Co. Um, or Arcane Design, not Arcane Design Co. Arcane Design is lasered on the outside of this backspacer. On the production ones, it's going to be lasered inside the backspacer. So you'd have to look in the knife to see that. That's not the way it is currently. So that should be it. Let me make sure. He sent me some images of the changes. Uh, they're things that I think are probably on his site um, or that he's posted. So you can check out. I'll have Arcane Design linked down below uh, both the website, the Instagram, and all that. So you can check out all that stuff. And I know Israel, through his own channels, has talked about all those changes. That shouldn't be news coming from me if you've been following along with this knife. Um, but those are things that are happening. So. So far, I've carried this knife, um, I think two days, like total. Um, I've had it in my possession for a good few days. I need to carry it actually the next couple days in a row so that I can get this shipped on to the next person. It's going to NAF Sergeant after me. And uh, yeah, so I carried it about two whole days. I've done very limited cutting with it. I've been delicate with it because it's a prototype. And Israel did say I could carry it and I could do some light cutting with it, but he was like, please don't. <laughs> be mean to it because um, he's only got a couple of prototypes and I mean I totally get it so the cutting I've done with it has mostly been I've opened a couple of boxes um, I did push it through like a sheet of cardboard to see how it felt slicing through that but it's mostly been tape paper that level of stuff uh, I did cut a tag off of one of my daughter's jackets and that's kind of about it so far but um, I've been able to feel how it feels in hand doing a cutting task. I've been able to see how the edge performs on some pretty light but pretty regular stuff for me to do. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got a little bit of experience to draw on here. And keep in mind that so far experience is a little limited and that this is a prototype. So all of those changes are going to be happening for a production one. So first impressions wise, I'm going to save my like ergos carry cutting action like categorical kind of breakdown for my full review, which I'll film in a couple of days. But First impressions wise, um, I just, it's difficult because I like Israel, right? So part of me absolutely inherently likes this knife because I like him. I think he's a cool dude. I enjoy his design language and all that, but I can also remove myself from it a certain degree because before I knew him, I already thought his designs were cool. And before this Blade Show West that just happened, I knew Israel a little bit, but not as well as I do now. And even before now meeting him, I thought this was his coolest design, personally, for me. I've been most excited for this one, and I do plan to pre-order one. I'm just really stuck as to what spec I'm going to go with, but I'm a sucker for a good clip point. I love Bowies. I just think they have a certain panache about them. And this one is so unique in the sense that you've got a, a somewhat typical kind of clip point. You've got this curve swooping down into there, but you've also got a compound grind and it's kind of like a drawn out tanto and with this fuller and just the overall vibe, the flow of the knife, it's just so uniquely arcane design <laughs> um, in a way that feels like I don't know, ultra modern space movie ish, which is kind of his thing. And so I just, I really, I like the aesthetic profile of this knife a lot. And the way that the collars are done 
in this really aesthetically pleasing way, the shape of the handle, like the kind of geometric lines that he puts as contours. It just makes me happy. Um, I always joke with uh, Ryan, my buddy who I'm partnered with on Left Concepts. He's really into Israel's knives, and he has one of everything. I think he might even have multiples of some of his models. Um, and I always say, like, Israel's designs remind me of the Volcom logo. I don't know if you're familiar with that brand, but it's like a geometric, like, prism diamond-looking thing. And the way that he sculpts his handles and shapes his things, it just always reminds me of that in a fun way. Um, so, yeah, I love that it's such a unique offering because... A Bowie or a clip point blade shape that's been around for forever, right? There's been a, a lot of iterations on the Bowie. And so to make one that looks and feels unique is cool to me. Um, I like that that's been done. So, um, yeah, I mean, so far, I'm liking the way that it carries. I'm liking how slim it is. That's going to change. We'll see in production whether I welcome the thickness or not. Um, but I've been pleasantly surprised with how good these ergos are for me. I've been really, really happy with how this knife fits my hand. I didn't expect it to be as ergonomic <laughs> as it frankly is in my hand. Um, the action I'm having fun with, especially with the flipper, the fuller works for me. It's a middle finger flick. I just have to give it, it's not even wrist. It's like because of where I'm positioning my hand to get the right leverage, it kind of feels like my hand naturally has like a push to it I don't know so it seems like I'm giving it wrist but I'm really not I'm just kind of throttling it in a way I don't know I'm hoping that that gets even better because I love multiple deployment methods middle finger flicking is my favorite way to open a knife so the idea that this is potentially going to get enhanced in that way will take it from being a flipper that can be middle finger flicked to hopefully feeling like a knife that's supposed to do both um yeah I'm excited for that I love the finishing react crushed it on that this one has as you can see kind of the stone washed blade acid stone washed maybe or a dark stone wash i'm not sure what they call it but i like that blade finish a lot there's also a belt satin version which looks fantastic react crushes it on belt satin and especially on knives with the compound grind that they do the belt satin always just pops in a fun way um, and then there's some like murdered out versions in all black and I don't know. I'm really torn as to what to pick. I do not know what I'm going to ultimately go with, but I like it. Um, so yeah, moral of the story is even just this far into the review process and with this knife facing so many upcoming like alterations for production one, I'm going to pre-order one. I, I really want to have one of these for myself and a couple of the things that are like changes happening to it, I'm particularly excited for. The middle finger flicking getting better, huge one. The jimping getting less aggressive. If the jimping was staying the same, honestly, that might be a thing that would keep me from actually pulling the trigger on pre-ordering it. Like, I'm if I was kind of fence sitting about this knife and the jimping was staying like this, that could easily be the thing that would tip me on to the like, eh, that jimping would bother me. But the fact that it's gonna not be this bad <laughs> is gonna make me happy. And I say not be this bad, that's harsh. Some people love jimping, I just don't. I don't like jimping. You don't see it on the Avant that I've designed. You probably won't see it on pretty much any of my knives that I'll design ever, assuming that I keep designing knives. It's not a thing that I like on knives. So this being softened up is gonna be a welcome, welcome change. Uh, the pocket clip getting a little bit uh, rounder, although I don't find that it's been hot spotty for me in hand or anything. Um, it carries all right, but it getting rounder and becoming more comfortable and then it also being positioned deeper so that it carries a little bit deeper. That's obviously speaking my language. I prefer deep carry. Um, so yeah, I like, I like that he's thinking about this with the prototypes in hand and making the adjustments that are going to take it even further because it's already it's such a cool knife. Like, this is sweet. It really, really is cool. And I love, too, that, like, Israel has a design language that seems so identifiable to me across each of his models, which there's only a few so far, but they're also all so different from one another. Like, you've got this crazy Tanto that he came out with first, and then you get the Warney. The crawler is gnarly looking. 
and then this being a clip point and then a double-edged dagger that he did with Felix. Like each knife has its own place and not just because of its blade shape is it unique either. Like they have these design cues that are tied through the lineup, but they also look and feel unique and the handle shapes aren't just like tweaked enough to fit a different blade shape. Like they're, they're well thought out to be their own design in each instance. And I just, I like that. I respect it. So anyway, I'm liking this a lot. The grind is great. The blade is awesome. This tip is mean. <laughs> it looks phenomenal. It's a cool knife. It really is. So yeah, I'll be pre-ordering one at the moment when I'm filming this pre-orders are still open. I hope that's the case for a little bit. If you're watching, um, I'm going to have a link to his site down below. That'll be where you pre-order for this knife. So check it out if you haven't. And uh, anyways, I guess that's my first impressions. We're going to call it good there. So thanks for checking it out. We'll see you on the next one, guys.